If back in July someone would have said the Youngstown State football team would be competing for a national title in 2016, many wouldn't have believed them. Why she was coming off a 5-6 and six season and hadn't made the playoffs in nearly a decade. But from week one, the Penguins led by head coach Bo Pelini set a clear and resounding message. This year would be different. Despite battling seemingly constant adversity in one form or another, YSU stayed the course, always finding a way. Whether it was coming back to beat Northern Iowa after losing their starting and backup quarterbacks, or snatching victory from the jaws of defeat versus Indiana State. Week after week, the Penguins rose to the challenge, continuing to always just find a way culminating in the program's first playoff berth since 2006. YSU would go on to face three of the top four ranked teams in the FCS playoffs, first traveling to third-seeded Jacksonville State, a place the third-seeded Gamecocks hadn't lost in since 2013. But once again, YSU just found a way. A double overtime win, and a catch later, YSU stood at the forefront of college football. Cinderella had arrived and was ready to claim her fifth national title. Unfortunately, midnight had come and there would be no fairy tale ending. Standing in their way was James Madison, a team riding a wave of momentum off their upset of the five-time national champion, North Dakota State Bison. But despite what many deem the end is really just the beginning. YSU football is back, a national power once more and the whole country is well aware of it. The four-time national champions set numerous records en route to their seventh title game appearance, going a perfect 10-0 at the Ice Castle for the first time since 2005, and their 12 wins were the most in program history since 1999. A disappointing loss does not discredit the strides this program has made in just two short years under head coach Bo Pelini. The state of Youngstown is strong, and the future is bright.